1113, everybody. We are looking outside on the tower cam in Grand Rapids, uh, where it, it primarily we don't have a whole lot going on, though we are building back in a little bit more sprinkle action, drizzle action, and to the south and to the east. That is where our next round of light rainfall is coming from. Kind of an odd direction. Typically, weather moves from west to east, but this time around, it's coming from south, southeast to north, northwest. You'll see that on the radar momentarily. Friday planner, well, here we are in just uh, minutes or 45 minutes from now at noon, 36 degrees and just holding right around 36, maybe 37 in towards this evening. East winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Uh, I would say mainly what you're going to be noticing coming out of the sky is just rainfall overnight tonight and into Saturday. A few snowflakes will return at that time, but I'm not looking for any appreciable accumulations of snow around our neck of the woods. Uh, may there be a dusting, a light coating uh, between Saturday and Sunday. Certainly that's a possibility, but snow shovels, they will will not be needed. Mild weekend temperatures situated uh, tomorrow and Sunday, uh, the, basically the same as where we are today, mid to even in some cases upper 30s and no big systems, no major areas of low pressure coming out of the Texas Oklahoma region and swinging in here with large amounts of Gulf of Mexico moisture into an Arctic air mass. In fact, look at this over the next couple weeks above average temperatures. What this map shows is well, the darker the oranges or reds, that's with a greater the departures from average are and of course red signifying above average versus uh, the blues which aren't even on the map which would be showing you where well below normal temperatures would be but they are not uh, there as of yet maybe something changes into february uh, but uh, nothing around in terms of arctic for the next 10 days at least we've got temperatures around the midwest right now 20s and 30s generally We'll go closer to home with the winds. These are basically the same I had at 4 35 o'clock on the morning show uh, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So they are providing a bit of a chill. It's not balmy outside. It's just not as cold and not nearly as cold as it could be for the 24th day of January. Wind chills in the mid to upper 20s. Watch the RPM model. We take a whole look at a whole bunch of models, but this is the one I show you as far as the temperatures. There it is. 36 GR, 37, 38 Kalamazoo, Battle Creek over towards the Lakeshore, South Haven, not to be forgotten, Benton Harbor. You go into this evening and with all the clouds around, pretty stagnant air mass. We're only going to fall off a couple degrees overnight tonight. Probably be bottom out around 34. And I think that a couple degrees above the freezing mark is going to be critical because the majority of what falls is going to be in the form of rain. Area of low pressure right along the border of southern Illinois and Indiana that is drifting to the north will be right at the southern end of Lake Michigan by tomorrow morning. And it it is shoving more moisture our way right now. So you can see that there are some new wider spread areas of light rain, even some pockets where the rain is coming down a little bit more decently there in the central portions of the state. Winter weather advisories over northern Illinois for snow. And that's not that far away where several inches could come down in the western burbs of Chicago, but that will be missing us. It's just going to be periods of light rain this afternoon into this evening. If you're headed out and about, make sure to have that umbrella. The backside of the system with the snow over southern Wisconsin and Illinois will brush us with a few flurries and snow showers through the day on Saturday. So that's when we may pick up our dusting or light coating. And then into Sunday, everything kind of gets out of here. We'll go to the seven day forecast. After you see the snow amounts off of one of our models, I think that's even overdone because the majority will be melting on contact. And uh, whatever falls the next several days, these flurries will be melting on contact. Nicole and Alyssa, 30s carrying right on through next week. Well, today